Yeah. What is up, guys? This is Neek, and this is Batcave Gaming. I hope you guys are enjoying your Halloween. So happy Halloween! Hope you guys enjoy your costume parties, your trick or treating, your handing out candy, anything that you're doing. If you're just chilling back, watching a movie or something. But I wanted to start out this commentary before I get into it, because um, this is the Modern Warfare 3 farewell tour. But but before I get into this episode, I want to talk about subscribers. Um. I played with Dragon Slayer, who's a subscriber, who hit me up and said, hey, let's play together. And he was part of this video, as you'll see on the screen. So shout out to him. And I know a couple people before have asked me if I play with subscribers. And yes, I do play with the subscribers, but I haven't really done any subscriber sessions because I don't know how many of you guys out there would even want to play with me. But you guys can do like Dragon Slayer did and just hit me up on... PlayStation Network or Xbox Live. Um, I have my gamer tag and my PlayStation ID on my on my channel background, so you guys can hit me up. Xbox Live, it's Batcave Gaming. On PS3, it's Mr. Batcave Gaming. Someone actually jacked Batcave Gaming on PS3 from me. I don't I don't know who, but whatever. Anyway, guys. So you guys can add me if you guys want. Send me a message on Twitter or YouTube. Um, and maybe I'll do some live streams once once you guys let me know if you guys want to do that. But anyway, let's get cracking on this episode of the Modern Warfare 3 Farewell Tour. So this is episode 2. I asked you guys in the last video if you guys had any ideas you wanted me to talk about. I didn't really get any ideas, but I found something that I kind of wanted to talk about. And it was Woody's Gamer Tag who made a video um, on his channel. I don't know if it was yesterday or a day before. And it was basically about Modern Warfare 3 and Black Ops 2. And the topic was um, how Modern Warfare 3 invent was innovative on certain game modes and just parts of the game, supposedly. So in the video, it kind of seemed like Woody was saying that Modern Warfare 3 innovated better than Black Ops 2 will be. So, I want if you if I'm wrong, you guys can correct me on that, but that's what I kind of got from the video. I could be wrong, but that's the impression I got. But I don't know. I think Black Ops 2 will do a lot more things that are innovative than Modern Warfare 3, but this is about Modern Warfare 3, so we're not going to really focus on Black Ops but there was things I wanted to talk about in Modern Warfare 3 that they that they invented and that were, you know, okay, but not that great. So there's only two things in Modern Warfare 3 that I think they in, innovate or that they were innovative on, and that was the specialist kill or strike package and the game mode kill confirmed. So bef before I start talking about those, I want to talk about the strike packages. That was something they were innovative on, but to me, it wasn't. It was flawed in the fact that it had support and the balancing of support. So I think a lot of people got frustrated with support because of stealth bomber EMPs, and people felt that was they were way too easy to get, and they were way too overpowered just because how easy they were to get. So I agree with a lot of people when they say that. So that's why I said the only thing I think they were good on was the specialist package out of those strike packages. Um, so I do enjoy using the specialist package. I don't really use it too much, but it's it's pretty cool to have all the perks in the game, especially if you have them, the pro version of them. So that was one thing I thought Modern Warfare 3 was really good about inventing. The next thing was Kill Confirmed, obviously. They made a bunch of game modes for Modern Warfare 3. I think we can all agree on that. You know, because there was Drop Zone, there was Kill Confirm, there was Team Defender, there was All or Nothing. One in the Chamber was already around in Black Ops, so that was been around already. Um, there's Money in the Dank, which is basically like Team Defender, if you ask me. Because the Jug is pretty much like a flag holder. And the point is just to kill the jug, because no one really runs and plants the bomb really too often in that game mode. So, you know, they tried, I guess, 
innovating in Modern Warfare 3. But the problem with Modern Warfare 3 is that that wasn't the people who played Call of Duty's main concern. People weren't complaining, hey, there's not enough game modes. I need more game modes. People were concerned with things like lag compensation, revenge spawn. Um, what else? Lag compensation, revenge spawn. Um, I don't know. Those are the main two that come to mind. I'm drawing a blank, but I know there's more out there, you know, that were main issues with people who played the game. So instead of focusing on stuff like that, they just brought new game modes to kind of distract us, I felt, instead of actually doing something about the problems we felt there was. And that's why I felt, you know, Woody was kind of wrong in saying Modern for 3 innovated a lot more than Black Ops 2. Um, we don't even know everything Black Ops 2 is doing. And because if we're just going to compare game modes they make, you know, Black Ops 2 has their new game mode, which is Hardpoint. They, uh, they have the new zombies, uh, like, it's like a campaign version of zombies. There's the team zombie games where you can play against other people in zombies. And we don't even know anything about that. Like, Treyarch has done an amazing job keeping stuff under wraps about their game. Like, they've let out some really good Im information on it, but they haven't really given out everything. So... I don't know how you can compare Black Ops Model for 3 and Innovation, but that's just me. Tell me what you guys think. Did you guys think Model for 3 did a good job of making new game modes, new innovations, like Woody would say? Because I think it's too early to say, you know, Model for 3 was better than Black Ops at innovating stuff. Because the way I see it right now, Black Ops 2 has a lot of hype, but they've backed up a lot of their stuff they seem to care about their game and i just don't think infinity war did but anyway guys this is episode two leave me comments below for episode three i'll see you guys in the next video later guys